and Rasmus Hoyland. There's been some upturn in his form, hasn't there, bringing back in Mark? Yeah, brilliant to see. We love seeing a striker in form. He's the man of the moment, the striker in form. The first name on Eric Ten Hag's team sheet right now. He scored in six consecutive games. Uh, here are the numbers. And this is significant as well because his shot conversion rates since Christmas are far better than anyone else in the Premier League. He has a conversion rate of 64%. He scored seven goals. But when you compare that to the other informed strikers in the top flight right now, you can see how significant that is. Jota, 36% with five goals. Adebayo, 36%, five goals as well. Salah as well, 27%. You can see Cole Palmer and Colt Morrison there, but that is so significantly better than every other single striker in the Premier League right now. That gives you a real indication as to just how much this man is currently in form. So I guess the question is, what do you put that down to? Is it service, confidence, or just it's taken time for him to adapt to life in the Premier League? Yeah, I think he's, he's on a real hot streak, isn't he? I mean, those numbers there are unbelievable. Probably not sustainable long term. Um, if you look at his, his kind of conversion rates since he came in, it's around about 24, 25%, which speaks to the fact he was, I think, unlucky at the start of the season, missing a lot of chances. And now he's just bang in form. He's young, he needed time. He came for a league that wasn't really on the level of the Premier League, hadn't spent a lot of time in Syria. Um, and it's just an example of a player in real confidence, isn't it? I mean, he's one of the most, in, one of the most informed and feared strikers yeah. in Europe right now, the way he's playing. Yeah, interesting to say, maybe a bit unfortunate in that first part of the season. He did get five in the Champions League group stages, didn't he? And there was an interview with Harry Maguire last week where he was saying, on the training ground, we were always convinced it was going to click for him because he looked so good in training. He was going to deliver. I think big thing for me, those last six Premier League games that he scored in, Ganacho one side of him, Rashford the other. And that consistency, you know, it's been a problem all season for Man United. Injuries, disrupting the selections that Ten Hag can make. He's had that front three the last six games and we're seeing the rewards of that now. Yeah, we absolutely are. I'll tell you what, let's have a listen to this from Gary Neville after Hoyland scored twice at Luton. Hoyland looked like, and I didn't say it on commentary, but he looked like a sort of, you know, Highland in the, ma Highland in the making. Um, just power and strength and that aggression in his running that I really love about a Manchester United centre forward. I've always liked it. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> Hoyland, Harlan, Mark... How do the two compare if we are just going to do it, compare them? No pressure on yeah. the young lad. Um, quite yeah. amazing to see Gary Neville heap that type of praise on a Manchester United striker. Uh, but clearly, he's heading in the right direction. Here's how the two compare. Harland Hoyland. This is their first 20 Premier League appearances. We know how spectacular and how big the impact was for Erling Haaland when he arrived in the English Premier League. You can see 25 goals in his first 20 appearances compared to seven for Hoyland. The assists, very similar as well, but minutes per goal, things very different. 210 minutes per goal for Rasmus Hoyland compared to Haaland's 66 minutes per goal. Chances created, very similar as well. You can see the conversion rate, very different as well. And the XG, once again, very different. Six and a half goals expected for this man compared to the 17 that were expected for uh, Erling Haaland. Um, but since Christmas, it's a slightly different story. Now, it's important to point out that Erling Haaland is coming back from injury, so still not his very, at his very best at the moment. But you can see the comparison. Games, six to five. Goals, seven to three. The XG, of course, still slightly different and in favour of the main man, Erling Haaland. You can see the assist is very similar. Uh, minutes per goal, very different. 75 minutes per goal for this man compared to Erling Haaland. The shot conversion rate, completely different. This is very stark. 64%, as we know, this man is in red-hot form at the moment compared to 13% of Erling Haaland and then touches in the opposition's box. You can still see, um, of course, compared to each other that Erling Haaland is getting more opportunities in and around the goal, having more touches, still doing his very best work in the box compared to uh, Rasmus Hoyland. But it's great to see two strikers, two out-and-out -out number nines, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. be fascinating to see how this... Little battle between the two of them develops over the course of this season. Regardless, it's great to see this man, who cost Manchester United in excess of £70 million this summer. You can see the investment is starting to come to fruition. He's only 21 years old. So the exciting thing for United fans, surely he can only get better.